Hello everybody, it's October 30th and what we're going to do today is show you how to do a spore print. Now under this bowl that's sitting on the green piece of paper I have a oyster mushroom that I found out in the wild. So it's been sitting overnight now. We'll go ahead and take the bowl off. And you can see it kind of got the paper kind of wet there. And we'll go ahead and move the mushroom. And you see the print it made there? That is actually mushroom spores that came out of the mushroom. You see those gills? They're full of spores in there. Uh, so you could take that and actually grow mushrooms from it. Which is a, and I'll do that in detail another time. But at this point, we'll go ahead and move the mushroom off of there. And just go ahead and fold it over. And then go ahead and fold it again. And the one thing you'd want to do is tape around the outside edge of this. But I don't have any tape right here. So I'm just going to take this and set it in the oven with the oven off. Just to let this paper dry out a little bit. And once it's dry, I'll go ahead and slide it in a sandwich baggie just like this. And then I'll go ahead and write on it with a magic marker what it is, where I found it, the date and put it in the refrigerator inside a Tupperware container. That way it won't get any extra moisture into it and it'll just keep it fresher. But with this spore print it's great for identifying mushrooms because when you find a mushroom in the wild you gotta make sure it's not a poisonous mushroom. So you go by what does the mushroom look like which this is an oyster mushroom here and uh, where did you find it? On a log out in my driveway. And then October 30th, 2014. Um, also the spore print. What color was the spore print? Was it black? Was it purple? Blue? White? This one was white. So you look up in your book that you have. That you can get from... This is what I use right here. The Audubon Society Field Guide to North American Mushrooms. And it's got, it tells you all about, you know, when you find a mushroom, what it's going to look like, uh, where they're found, what trees they're found on, if they're ground on the, found on the ground or not. And it also has pictures. Like this one right here is an elm oyster. Then it tells you to go to page 761. And it'll give you a description on the whole thing. So that's why we do spore prints. To identify the mushroom and to save the spores for later so we can grow mushrooms if we need to. So, have a great day.